Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing for you today. It's actually items that I got from three weeks and I was able to collect all three, one from each week from a special release by Byredo, which is one of my favorite perfume companies. I think I have one or two videos already up and I'm planning to do a brand focus on it. So these are the packaging that it comes with and I'm just gonna start unboxing it for you guys. I've kind of teased it in Instagram a little bit. So this is the first item. It doesn't come in one of those large boxes, but just one of these. So this is the Byredo Elevator Music. This is the hand cream, 30 milliliters. This is the collaboration with Off-White. So you can see up here, Off-White, Cara Virgil, Abloh, defining the gray area between black and white as off-white. They have done, they ran a promotion in Paris where they had an kind of an art installation and they were offering these exclusively to people there. And then it was only in the following weeks that they started offering it online, but only very limited quantities. I haven't used this yet because I was waiting for this video. And I'll talk a little bit about the scent in a little bit. And this one, once I, the only thing I don't like about this as a collector's piece is once I start squeezing it, it's gonna change the shape of the tube. I will eventually use it, maybe just not this second. I do have other versions that I can show you later in another video how you can use these or what the texture's like. And this one I believe was $40. It's a little bit more expensive than their non-collaboration versions. I think their non-collaboration versions are around $32 or $35. And this is the second item. And it comes with a sticker and tissue paper that has their pattern on it. So this is the, ele the another elevator music, but this is the hair perfume. And they also gave me a couple of samples, one including the elevator music perfume and also the Bibliotech, which is their newest release. It used to be only just a candle, but by popular demand, they made it into a perfume. And then just recently, they're also launching the hair perfume as well as the hand cream. And if you may have noticed, the styrofoam are the bees, which is pretty cool. The bees are in two pieces. So you have the two curves and then you have the single pieces like right here. I have a couple of these already, but this is of course in the limited edition packaging because it's the elevator music. Most of their products are made in France. This one included. Just like the other hair perfumes, it, it smells like the fragrance, but on initial application, it's actually very alcoholy. And I like using these hair perfumes because I do have longer hair and it's just kind of nice. I think just for me, I don't know if other people smell it, but when my hair is blowing outside or it drops down, I can kind of smell it throughout the day, which I like because I, I mean, for me wearing perfume or fragrances, I do like to be able to smell it throughout the day. Obviously you're gonna get used to it, but with the hair perfume, you kind of get whiffs of it throughout the day, so you notice it a little bit more. And this, I think, was $70, but the regular ones, the non-special edition ones, are probably like $63. So it's like 10%, a little bit over 10% more expensive. I think you can guess what the last item is. It's in the biggest box. And they come with this like honeycomb tissue paper too, which is pretty cool. So this comes with a sticker as well. I'm gonna see if I can just pull this out. Here is the box. This is the perfume and it does come with its own box. And it also has this neon orange, fluorescent orange. So this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the large size. I think for the special collaborations, they only do it in the large size. Although the Bibliotech, they are releasing in both the 50 milliliter version as well as this. I forget exactly how much this was. I think this is around 270. It is also slightly more expensive than the regular 100 milliliters. So you can see the off-white label here. 
and of course the diagonal silver. And I really like Byredo's clean packaging and the typography I think is done really well. It's simple but I do like how well the the way they they implement their minimalism style. The sides are perforated so it's pretty easy. You just kind of you rock it back and forth in order to open it. So there you go. So there is the perfume, Elevator Music. And this one a little bit different than the packaging is the stripes don't go all the way through it. It's kind of, it's more or less just halfway. And it comes with a little card, usually explains a little bit more about the fragrance. So as expected, it comes in a special, it looks different than the other ones. It has this silver foil print all over it and it kind of actually covers the text. So you might need to read the full thing online because it's not like a translucent print, it actually covers a lot of letters. You can probably more or less get the sense of, I'm not gonna read the whole thing here. You could pause the video if you do want it to read it. And the back is also the silver stripes. And the rest is the same as their packaging. It comes with a magnetic cap. This is new though that I just noticed. So on top of the spray nozzle has the B on it. The other 50 milliliter and the 100 milliliters don't have that. So for comparison, this doesn't have it. This is the untitled one, which is was a limited edition. And you can see I'm almost, I mean, I use up quite a bit. This is real, I really love this. I hope they bring it back in limited quantities again. I would definitely get it and I would get it in the other products as well. And then this is a 50 milliliter version. It's not limited edition. This is from their regular line, but I think they introduced this later. It wasn't one of the originals. So you can see the top is different. And I'm going to spray this for you guys. I'm assuming since it hasn't been used yet, it's going to take a few pumps. So usually that by the third pump you get some product. So I'm smelling it on my wrist right now. It's it reminds me a little bit of Super Cedar. It has a woody kind of a base to it, but there's some sweet notes to it. I think it smells kind of familiar, but I can't put my hand on it. I think it kind of smells like Amouage a little bit, the Jubilation XXV. It's definitely more of a warmer, warmer tone, but it's not smoky. It's like sweet and woodsy is I think how I would describe it. And it's overall pretty pleasant. I'm gonna try one more spray a more fuller spray. Yeah, now that I have more, it's still the, the kind of woodsy component I think is the strongest scent. So I think this is going to release in May, but I don't know if they're gonna keep creating it until when they wanna stop carrying it or if they're, gonna, if they're just gonna create a limited amount and once it sells out, that'll be the end of it. And here are the three items that I got from the Byredo Elevator Music, which is a collaboration between Byredo and Off-White created by Virgil Abloh. He definitely had a hand in creating the scent. And these are the only three items. Plus the, if you consider the sample also a piece, although that's, that's not for sale, that's a sample. I don't think they give it out right now. So it'll just be doors that will carry this. I think they will get some of them, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty limited. These are the three pieces that you could order, although right now you can't order it from them. I forget if they might still have some in Paris or they're just gonna wait until they do the formal release, I think next month. Again, I'm not sure if it's gonna be limited quantities or limited time, and they'll keep creating them until time runs out. The, less, the least expensive is the hand cream. It's kind of small though, this is the 30 milliliter size. I do have the larger size and a different scent. 
and then the hair perfume which is 75 milliliters. I've gotten pretty good use out of the two that I have and they're still pretty full. And then elevator music, this is the large size, the 100 milliliter. But you can see what's different here is that the stripes don't go through the entire bottle. And that's my unboxing and preliminary review. I'll try to maybe create an update once I have worn this, maybe over 24 hours. Or I'll maybe update you in the description here and definitely in my Instagram. I'm planning on doing kind of a creative editorial three, three part series on Instagram. I already took one photo that relates to elevator music, but with these products. So look out for that on my Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube username, so at Sartorial Phil. And it's Sartorial S-A-R, not S-A-T. It's not meant to be satirical. It's Sator Satorial, which is a different word. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And like I was saying, check out my Instagram for exclusive content as well as the latest updates. And I hope to see you in my next video.